Punch. In this action-adventure from Broderbund, you are challenged by both outer space warfare and also interior adventure scenes. <laughs> If you want to play only the space shooter scenes, you can enter a special code during the passcode screen. Enter the letters T, G, L, and all the rest should be blank, and you will warp from scene to scene without having to fight your way through the adventure scenes. Legacy of the Wizard is an expansive game with over 60 hours of playing time. You have your choice of using one of five family members to get through certain areas. Plus, you can find or buy many special items like jump boots, power gloves, extra armor, and even magic wands. You can reduce the time needed to find these items considerably by warping to the end of the game with this special code. Just enter C4TB-R-S-S-H-6-R-X-C-1-T-J-H-C-U-T-K-3-N-F-T-Y-W- M C W J V U To increase your abilities in Deadly Towers, you can use this simple password. You will be sent to the final scenes in the game completely powered up. The 16-bit machines are a lot of fun. They have real great graphics, real great sounds.
but some of the games just don't have the playability of like a Nintendo game. Like, um, you can take a game that has incredible graphics, great sound, but if you're going to spend so much money on it and it's going to last you about 10 minutes, you're going to be real, you know, down because you just spent all your money on something that's not going to, you're not going to enjoy it anymore. When you can go spend some money on a Nintendo game and it would keep you occupied. But once the programmers get more involved in the 16 bits, yeah, they're going to really soar. <laughs> Bomber is a lot like the super tank on the end of the first round. You need to duck between his shots and then use the bomb button to destroy him. This enemy bomber is a lot like the tank in the first round. You need to dodge between This enemy bomber is a lot like the tank in the end of level one. Use your bombs and dodge between his shots to survive. Sometimes if the fighters get too heavy, fly up to the top of the screen. Whoops, too close on that one. Unfortunately on this level, some of the monsters can walk right through the walls. <laughs> 